What's up guys, it's Ashwin. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to fix an SOS error on your uh, BMW. Yep, there's the SOS warning, I found it. On the BC, you just go to check, and then you go down. I got this SOS warning because I switched my head unit to this Android head unit right here. And since that breaks the fiber optic loop in the car, it breaks the SOS, which is a BMW assist where, well, it doesn't work anymore, but back in the day when you got a new car, you had this button right here, SOS button. If you were in an emergency, you, uh, you click that button and you get help for uh, what you're in. So we're gonna be using NCS Expert to code out the warning. And uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing now. Okay, so I have my K, uh, K plus DCAN cable connected up to my laptop right here. So make sure that your car is on a double clicked um, power so that your lights are on and your gas gauge is showing your actual uh, gas consumption. That's how you know that you're in the proper ignition mode. And now you're gonna open up NCS Expert. Go to file, load profile, manipulation, okay. Then you're gonna go to start, chassis and go to E89, let's make sure this is in focus, E89, okay, uh, cast is fine, let that load, so now we're gonna go to back, process ECU, we're gonna go to combi, click okay, uh, change job, change it to Coderan Latin lesson, that's um, what reads the ECU, click OK, execute job. It says coding active, now coding ended. So now we're gonna go to the root folder. So how you get there is with this VC, local disk C, NCS expert, and you go to work. And then you're gonna have two files here, the FSW underscore PSW and the FSW underscore PSW man, this is the TRC. You're gonna open the TRC, right click, open with, Choose notepad, uh, always open with TRC, click OK. Now you're gonna have this file. From here, you're gonna go file, save as. You're gonna change this to the MAN. So you're gonna do dot man, and make sure this is on all files. So that's how you know that it saves as a man and not a text file. Just make sure it says all files. After that, save, click replace, say yes, close that. Now you're gonna open the MAN, do the same thing. So right click, open with, Notepad, click OK. Now we're gonna go down to TCM monitor. So this is gonna be like this. Like I said, I already did this when I was, I thought I was recording and it wasn't. So yours is gonna be like this. It's gonna say TCM Alive monitor and TCID monitor. Those are the two values that you wanna change. And yours is gonna say active and you wanna change it to niche active. N I C H T underscore A K T I V. So just change put change active to uh, niche active for both of those. So I'm just gonna oh okay I'm just gonna do that and then N I C H T underscore active. So that's right. So niche active for a TCM Alive monitor and TCM ID monitor. Change both of those to niche active click save then you can exit out of there now from here you want to change job so you click change job change it to SG Coderin that's what writes to ECU so click OK and then you're gonna click execute job oh we can't even see it you need to click execute job and coding active coding ended so now that's gonna reset your time and everything, but it'll also get rid of that warning in your car. So now you can just exit out of here and you're done with uh, NCS Expert. So I'm gonna put my laptop away and uh, start up the car. So now I'm gonna start the car up. I got my clutch in. So now you're still gonna have a warning now because uh, it reset your time. But if you go and check, uh, Control now. Check. And now I have my washer and time. Those are the only two. 
All right guys, so that's how you code out the SOS error on your uh, BMW E82, E90, E60, E89, all of this generation of uh, BMWs from around 2007 to 2013-ish. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I have a lot more videos uh, coming out. I have a lot of videos that I have to edit. So I will, uh, when you're watching this, I'll probably have all of those other ones edited, but uh, I'll also have more videos to come. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching.